What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Refresh Network. I'm Brian Pyatt. This week, we sat down with Minnesota Lynx head coach Cheryl Reeve to talk about what's gone into winning three WNBA championships. And whether it's in great times or in, in more challenging times, that it's a moment in time. It doesn't define all of you. Also, the things that she's working on in her own life, even as she sits at the top of her game. Coach Reeve, thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely, happy yeah. to do it. What's the most simple way to describe what it's like to be the head coach of the Minnesota Lynx? I think words that would come to mind, lucky. This group just is so special because they enjoy it. They enjoy that process of being here at practice or going on a road trip together, or, you know, being in the grind of a game. Uh, experiencing the you know the ups and the downs and what do you have to do as a head coach to keep yourself focused keep yourself balanced keep yourself healthy I know for me I'm a preparer so I'm always trying to think about the next time I'm with the team you know what needs to be said I don't know that I have very many uh, ways to you know kind of decompress or shut down during the season um, that's part of the I think that's part of the the drug if you will you want to do right by your players, you want to put them in the best position to be successful and you're constantly trying to find ways to, especially with this group being successful for so long, that you're constantly looking for ways to maintain an edge. What would you say is the secret to that success? Talent is, is definitely a part of it, right? And so, you know, no question, Lindsay and Simone and Maya, you know, who are on the national team, Olympians, once you have talent as a base, it's the core of who they are as people. And we just have a group that truly is tremendous people who are selfless and care about their teammates and care about a bigger picture. When you think about times in your life that, that, that perhaps you've struggled, some tough times in your life that have really challenged you, um, is there anything that comes to mind? You know, in the course of a season, you know, the, the tough stretches, I, I think of those times, but it's often those times that um, you know you have to go through it to kind of get to you know, wherever that team's journey is gonna take us. Personally, is there a life lesson, a, a, a motto, a central focus that you kind of live your life by? The basics would be never too high, never too low. This too shall pass. Um, that gets you through a lot. <laughs> yeah. um, and, and I think, you know, maybe taking it a step further that, and whether it's in great times or in, in more challenging times, that it's a moment in time. This isn't, this doesn't define you doesn't define all of you. Uh, and that didn't, that wasn't a perspective I always had. You know, it's, it's you know, I'm getting more seasoned. <laughs> you know, picking your battles and understanding where your, you know, your time should go. And is, is, is there something that you would say you struggle with most or that you have to work on the most personally when you wake up every single day? I think probably at this point I'm better at it, um, but taking more time to kind of enjoy the blessings. I, like I said, I don't relax easily. And so that requires for you to step back. And, and we do have perspective. We understand what, what a great thing we have going. And so I think maybe, you know, taking that and putting it into my personal life and understanding that as well, you know, giving it, you know, the, both that, that same attention. We, uh, we appreciate you taking the time so much and, and, and go links. That's right, go links. Sure.